Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets in our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrish, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. I'm here for Peter. Well, you're out of luck, little helper. That's right, kids. It's, well, it's not the end of the month this month, because next next week you'll hear our 200th episode, but it's time for another Ben Rally uh, fest. All right, welcome back to Ultimate Spider-Cast. I am Phil, and you know what that means. There's some Australians here this time. From the Signal of Doom, we got our buddy Dave. How you going, Phil? Good to be here. Uh, hi, Ray. And Hello to all the listeners as well, can I say, as we're going to go over three, I think, fairly need to go to entry in Spider-Man's canon, but nonetheless, pleasure to be here. And, ah, uh, that's good enough with the introduction. No, 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 yes, from every other podcast on Earth, yes, we have Ray. Hey, hello everyone. Hey, Phil. Hey, Dave. Oh, Dave, I love it. You've, you've set the tone yeah. to the listeners. I want to I I prepare them yeah. for what lies ahead. <laughs> All, right. All right, before we start, I have to know, Ray, did you read that so, new Spider-Man number one by Dan Slott? I I haven't yet. I know what happens in it. Uh, okay, it's, it's in my it's on my bedside. Like it, I'm waiting waiting to read it. What happens? What happens? It's so good. Spider Woman like, gets killed. Jessica Drew. Isn't that your favorite, right? Or yeah. One of your yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm not I'm not too worried. It. it I was. She got fridged. Initi- she got fridged. Mm. Initially, I was incensed as as oh. expected, but you know, again, after taking a few deep breaths, it is comics and. She's too big a character to be, you know. She'll come back. Is she? So. Is she though? She <laughs> is. She is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she no, is. she's a, no, she's a decent name. Mm. Uh, yeah. Can I? Is she the one that at one point was replaced by a scroll? Is that her? Yes. Yeah. yeah that that the exactly scroll queen. Right. <laughs> the scroll queen. That's yeah, what she I had, thought. So she's yeah. had her ups and downs before, anyways. She's quite an integral part in the scroll invasion. Yeah. She'll uh, be back. So. There's a movie on the way from Olivia Wilde, isn't there? At some point. Yeah. It's still. She'll be well, back before you know it, man. E- exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It just. It's just a bit annoying that I guess. Uh, anytime soon, we won't be having like another Spider Woman series. I mean, you you can't, can you? Or maybe you can. Like, we can continue. Well, you'd have a, a, new, a new one. You'd have a new woman being Spider Woman. Well, just oh, the, oh yeah, 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 true. Well, yeah. just the whole and thing it, with like the web of life and stuff, Ray. I think they're doing. I think what they're doing is they're going to separate her from Spider Man and the rest of them again. So you know, she's going to be her own thing yeah. again. Yeah, I mean, she really was separate. Yeah, and exactly. Then, and then they kind of brought her to, in that fold, and she's always been. You know, on the outer and a, a little bit of the black sheep, which is kind of why I like her. I mean, if she didn't got, have Spider in a title, she wouldn't even be involved with the family. That's either, right. You know? Absolutely. Like, There's that tentative connection that um, the Bendis made uh, with Miles Warren and uh, and Jonathan Drew, her dad. You know, and and Herb Winham, uh, the High Evolutionary. So there's that tenuous connection to Spider Man there, but she really is her own thing. Um, but yeah, they did they did bring her. I mean. Which was good. They brought her into the Spider Verse and all that kind of spider centric kind of. And Dan sagas. Slot killed her. Dan yeah. Slot just killed her. What's his title mm. called? I don't even know what it's called. What's Adjectiveless it Spider Man. It's just Spider Man. Yeah, just Spider Man. Okay. He hasn't milked Spider Man's well enough. He's come back Whoa. for one more squeeze. You know, like oh, I like I like him as a writer. I don't feel you. Um, he's he, he's hit or miss with me. I mean, it's either good or I'm just, there's some. He did some good yeah. Spider-Man for a long time, yeah. but he was all he was all out of good stories by the end of that run. I mean, Superior, Superior Spider-Man was good. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, Superior Spider-Man was great. Spider yeah. Island. Spider yeah. Island. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But he um, had a long period of quite average stories towards the the end. You is know, that the the Parker Parker, Parker Industries? Tech? Yeah. Parker Industries. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm yeah, just no. saying, I think he he. He sort of plateaued. He kind of wrung that towel dry. But now he's back again. Like Jesus, oh, it's really? recharged, ready to go. Off, off the Fantastic Four, ready to pick up Spider Man again. Right. It's great to see his promotion uh, publicity guys on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, speaking of beloved creators, in December, Lilith and I are going to be doing an episode on uh, Bendis' uh, Bendis's time at DC and on Superman. So if you gentlemen would love to send thoughts, we would love to uh, my, play well, this. Here's my thought. It sucked. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> his DC, including his Legion, some of the most mediocre material he's done, which is saying something. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm leaning on you guys. I, I know Dave and Phil, you both uh, well uh, versed in the DC universe. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, I believe you. You had Absolutely. to read all the stupid and stuff, didn't yeah. you? For um, yeah, come on, Sons of Krypton. Yeah, yeah. I did. yeah, it was it was very flat for me. Yeah, that was kind of like a, a soft drink without the fizz, you know. Yeah, very <laughs> disappointing. Yeah, yeah, disappointing. Go off to Dark Horse yeah. Bemis and stay there, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Australian dodo. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> you're just making things up now, Phil. Come on. <laughs> We are a fake country. Let, 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 yeah, this is down under. Under. The land down under. Is it a continent? Is it a country? I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's both, it's a, I think. It's, and it's an a, island, they say. An island. Although, I'm really... They always say it's an island. I'm like, it's a pretty big island. Like That's a very big island. It takes bloody <laughs> eight hours to actually leave Australia when I'm you, like, when you take off virtue, in the air. Most things are islands. You know, like... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're surrounded by sea. I <laughs> uh, don't know how we got on this topic. <laughs> That, New that, Zealand is an island, you know. New Zealand's anyway. an island. Tasmania is yeah. an island. Australia, yeah. eh. Not so much. Oh, did you guys hear about... Is This is a scoop. You guys hear about uh, Mephisto? No. Is, is car, it has been cast in the MCU. Is that confirmed? I wasn't sure if that was a really? rumor or not. Who? Who's, who's playing Mephisto? Have, have a guess, Dave. I'll give you, I'll give you, one, clue. I'll give you one clue. Keanu Reeves. V- very nice. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, I have no idea who that is. Who? Um, Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh Jesus, Bo- really? Yeah. Like I said, I don't know if that's confirmed. I yeah, that's supposedly that's the rumor. Yeah, yeah I'm a, a, wow. Oh, oh did okay. you? I think he. I think he could do it. I think yeah. he could do Harrison it. Ford is confirmed for Thunderbolt mm. Ross. Yeah, Thunderbolt John, Ross. Yeah. I love Harrison Ford, so I was happy about that. I love that. Yeah, I, I'm, I've got no qualms with that. Yeah. I mean, I love William Hurt, but Harrison Ford. Yep. Oh, did you I'll see? Did you see? There is a rumor for Mr. Fantastic. The, the, the new rumor for who's going to play Mr. Fantastic. Who? Oh, uh, hang on. Hang on. Let me guess. Um, is he American? No. Ah, uh, okay. Well, no, I don't know. Uh that Tom Ellis who played Lucifer on TV. Oh, oh he's good. Yeah. I liked him okay. in that show. Okay. Yeah, he was really good yeah. in. I watched most of that show, and he was really good in that show. He'd be a good mm. Mr. Fantastic. Um, he's very suave. No, oh, yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Good Fantastic's actor. not meant to be suave. Yeah, but he's a good actor. I know, so I just, but I'm just that's what that's some of the feedback. Is, that's some of the feedback Charlie said. He goes, I don't know if he might be too good looking to play Reed Richards. Oh, but he's but he's an actor. He, he, you right. know, actors are, are paid to be able to be chameleons. So I yeah. could I could play Mr. Fantastic. It's not that tough a role. Yeah. Like some of these roles. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't think they're that tough. I really don't. No. I don't think the characters are that complex and the scripts are that mm. hard that anyone could who looks half decent couldn't mm. punch it out. Like, honestly, you know. I've said that about Batman. Batman is not the world's toughest character to play. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> Batman. I've said it before. My favorite character. character. So, Dave, how about, what if Lenny Henry became Batman, Bruce Wayne? He'd be better than some of the Batmans they've had. Batman, um, my favorite Lenny character. Henry, Lenny Henry can actually act. You know, as in he can yep. punch a line. Yep. That's all you need yep. to do sometimes. Hit your mm. mark, punch a line. That's it. He could do that. You know. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. What, what is it? Markers. Stand, stand at the markers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hit the mark. Bang. Punch the line. Get off screen. And back also the Batman. Trailer. Yeah. Back to the trailer, back to the coke, back to the whores. And <laughs> <laughs> back to the, the pile of blow. It's, you know, it's 2.47 a.m. Wait, wait, here. Wait, and, um, you know, little wait we're, wait, we're back to Jack Nicholson? Wait, wait Jack Nicholson? Yeah, yeah, Jack Nicholson just downing like bottles. <laughs> oh, they, said he, they said he was completely on cocaine the whole that whole time he did the Batman. Well, he was great. Maybe. I loved it. I loved it. He did a yeah. great fucking performance, so maybe that was perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't swear on this podcast. But my apologies. <laughs> I know how you can do it down on that island. All right. <laughs> All right. So, 
let's get to these issues. Which what would you gentlemen like to do first? The two spectacular Spider Mans or your oh, absolute we, favorite we, team up? Yeah, can we get the team up out of the way? Oh yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> I, that's how I read it. I got the te- yeah. team up out of the way first. <laughs> can I say a very interesting cover to the team up? Um, with the webs cool everywhere, cover. it was pretty yeah. cool cover, I must say. Mm. And um, and I am a sucker. I was telling this to Ray. There's a drop. I am a sucker for for sort of team ups like this. Like, so when I saw it with Spider Man, who's you know kind of a constant, we know him very well. With the Avengers, in a time period, I certainly didn't read the Avengers, and you're sort of checking in on how everyone's going. It's interesting. The, the actual story I, I found extremely confusing, but um, I, I did like checking in with them, seeing Wasp sort of literally as kind of like I don't know what she was, some sort of an alien looking creature. Um, <laughs> And like yeah. Thor, just minus everything, just <laughs> rocking around like yeah. no shirt. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hawkeye in his Hawkeye in his nineties kind of attempt of a costume. Yeah. yeah, it was interesting in that sense. Like as a curiosity, I enjoyed it. As an actual story, I, I thought it was very ordinary. But that's just mm. my opinion. Yeah, look, you, you know, Phil, I am. Um, you know how I do love the nineties. I'm I'm not a a blatant kind of what do you call it? I'm not a, a blind fan to it. Sure. I do appreciate the certain flavor it does yield, but this one I like these, these Avengers. This roster of Avengers I, I don't like at all. I like my nineties Avengers, and I'm talking about you know Cersei, Crystal, yeah, um, Hercules, Black Knight. Uh, this, you, you know, yeah. This Cap. is a- this is after that. I mean, we're this is after that. Yeah, I mean, I, oh, I don't. Like I mean, this we're at all. we're barreling head, 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 You know, not too long yeah. from now, we're going to get the Heroes Reborn. So I mean, yeah. kind of. And just, you've yeah. got the. I've never read it. I had heard about. Iron Man coming back as a teenager. Mm. I had this is the first time I've ever read it, so it was interesting in that sense, it just as a curiosity to see that in action. Yeah, um, yeah. but he was just kind of a jerk. That was the upset. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that that whole storyline. Uh, stay tuned for twenty twenty three, kids. That's all I'll say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to the whole teenage Iron Man thing. It's that whole that whole story gets retconned eventually, but it's just like. Yeah, supposedly Tony Stark was like a pawn of Kang the whole time, and then they go back in time to bring back this 19-year-old Tony Stark. <laughs> but That's then he, he gets a heart injury, just like the original, and then, yeah, original Tony Stark dies. And then, yeah, they basically keep Teen Iron Man until they all go into Heroes Reborn. And then when they come back from Heroes Reborn, it's like, oh, regular Tony Stark's back. Can I say, as an idea, worse ideas have been done well. It's it's not a terrible concept. Yeah. It's the execution. Yeah. And I'm sure mm-hmm. it's have a milked for so long that's the problem. The actual idea, we, we read stories with, with kookier ideas than that yeah. almost every every week in comic books. Like it's, but it was interesting to see that. And like he's putting the, the moves on Pepper Potts, um, who's married mm-hmm. to Happy Hogan, it seems. And um, mm-hmm. just a lot of stuff going on underneath the hood there. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think, I mean, I, I agree with you, Dave, as well. But I just think having a, um, a robot Spider-Man... Uh, you know, like a watered down version of, a, like, let's call it like a clone again. Not really, but you know, it's just, it's kind of like a, a weaker version of yet another imposter for Spider Man. You know, it kind of gets a little tedious in that regards. Um, I don't mind the clone stuff, obviously, because Ben has been fleshed out and. Uh, and, you know, we, we see, and this I can't remember in this or probably the other two issues, but we see what happens with Peter and all that. But oh. the fact that they're using this Spider-Man again, this imposter that kind of captures and de-ages people, and then make, throw in the mix Kang and all that. And, and again, I, I don't mind Kang if he's done kind of well. This was just too complicated for the, the sake. And I'm not saying complicated, hard to follow. It was just too... Um, it's confused. I, I, yeah, confused I completely understand. I remember the first time I read this when this first came out. I'm like, man, there is a lot going on here. Mm-hmm. And again, yeah. it's not. I mean, it's it's like a, pl- a plan of Kang's because yeah, they took the Spider-Man robot he sent against the Avengers back in yes, kids, the original Avengers Eleven back in the '60s, <laughs> and they're just like, oh yeah, this thing's just been sitting in the jungle. Let's you know, let's use this. So it's that it's, was a throwback. Yeah, like, it's, I mean, yeah. God. it's not even <laughs> Kang. It's just like something Kang set in the motion like 30 years ago yeah yeah I well mean, i mean like you know it, it's kind of like well uh, they have to pump out content they've got to make mm-hmm. the page count yeah. um this felt like it was over a cup of coffee someone came up with a storyline pitched it the art was quite good 
mm. I felt. Yeah, I know um, the art. yeah. At times, the storytelling was tough for the artist, I think, because the story itself was as it was it was confused. It wasn't just mm. confusing. The story itself didn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it mm. almost just rewrites itself by the end, which is always a sign that, like, yeah. the story's in trouble. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. You know, what do you think, Ray? Um, yeah, I had the, I had the point of um, the stakes kind of get wiped away. I, I, I don't know about you, but I got a little bit disappointed when I can't remember who it was. It might be Wanda or, or Janet. Mm. I can't remember who, but they say, oh, but, you know, all these people that have died, they're not really dead. They're like, you know, it's an equivalent to a safety deposit box where all their yes. kind of souls are. And it's like, well, he said that. Spider-Man said that. Spider-Man yeah. said that. Well, it's kind of like, well, that sucks because at least having all these people die and having stakes means something here. Now it's kind of all happy, you know, happy days for everyone. Let's wrap it up in a bow at the end and you get that nice feel-good ending. I mean, not to say that I'm a, you know, down in the dumps, kind of grisly, loving the whole dark edge side of things, but... You do, though. At least, you do, though. Yeah, I do, I do, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> But at least it had stakes. And then when that's taken away, it's like, well, what well, What was the point? There's no tension anymore. There was but, a funny part where they were describing... The confusing thing was how Peter suddenly started, or Ben started suddenly seeing how everyone else, well, like Captain America was trapped inside his ice tomb. Mm, mm. They go, Janet, she's like crippled on the ground, but happy that she's a human again. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Like she's yeah. trapped in this moment of nothingness, and she, but happy she's a human. And then yeah. they have her at the end, like <laughs> sobbing into the mirror, and I was just like, oh my god, like, you know, yeah. that, was, that was humorous. Yeah, I yeah, mean, so- I mean, yeah, I get it, Ray. I mean, that's that that trap that some writers fall into, where it's like, oh, it's time travel. We can just wipe everything away by the end mm. of the story because we'll just rewind everything back. And oh, hey, the whole thing never happened. Yeah, that's yeah. And that, the only that people that a- remember are teenage Iron Man and Ben Riley. That's, that's right. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which is, and you get this decapitated robot in the jungle just sitting there. At can, the end. can I ask? I, and I'm probably being a dumb reader. Why wasn't Spider Man uh, like aged when he was fighting with the robot? I thought they said he aged a little, but not as much oh. as the Avengers. Because didn't they? I mean, yeah, it, it's hard to tell, so Dave. You're talking but about Ben Riley, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because yeah, yeah. when that when they crash that Quinjet, does, does, doesn't one don't one of them say, "Oh yeah, your voice yeah. sounds a little huskier." She said but, that, but I yeah. thought maybe yeah. she meant that like his voice yeah. was different to Peter's voice. Uh, no, I don't right. think. Yeah. I I think it was just that, like he said he I think he aged a little bit, but not as much as the Avengers because for some reason because okay. it's like the robot oh, uh, no, that that a, robot Spider Man didn't believe Ben was the real Spider. Yes. It, it, there was a That's very right, yeah. weak plot point it that they explained, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it was there. It was because yeah. he thought he was Kang, maybe. Maybe that was why. Well, we thought Iron Man was Kang. Ke- Ke- Iron Man was because oh, yeah, so, because yeah, it, because that. teenage Iron know. Man. They took him from a different time period. So yeah. I guess there he's like, well, oh, you're a time traveler. That, yeah, you see the robot as well. Even question itself towards the end when he comes, it comes into contact with Ben. So I think it is that kind of doubt whether the robot is exactly Spider Man because he keeps on saying, "Oh yeah, I'm Spider Man" to Ben. Then it goes, then it's, "Am I?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe that's kind of what blocked it. But yeah, I, mean, I was like, "Does this story mean anything at all?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I tell you, I do like, I do like seeing um, Quicksilver. You know, you yeah. know, just any any speedster is pretty. And he cool. beat the so, shit out of him for a while. Beat the hell out of him. Didn't he? Like he he talks about it as well. Like his head is still ringing. Oh he yeah, was really getting delirious or whatever because of the head knocks. Such such a great. I mean, oh, he can yeah. wipe the floor really. Yeah, any, sp- any speedster. Yeah, speedster really. man, they can punch you a couple hundred, couple thousand times in this yeah. couple seconds. Yeah, and never get hit. You know, so. Um, yeah, so that was yeah that that was fun. Uh, as for the other Avengers, it was fun checking in on those guys. It was it was fun yeah. checking in on the yeah. Avengers team, who I am familiar with through other eras. I'm no expert on the Avengers, but I am familiar enough with them that it was kind of mm. cool seeing how everyone was in like 1996 or 97 or whatever the hell this was. Yeah. Um, the Spider Man was in it like much less than I expected. Mm. Um, ben Riley. Uh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's felt like Avengers yeah. team up. You know, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was saying before we jumped on. I think what was this like fifty some pages? I think so. I was reading it on the app, and yeah, Ben Rowley doesn't show up until page twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, I mean, look, just speaking about artwork as well. I mean, again, you got to love the nineties. The that Iron Man suit. I'm looking at it where he's standing next to the robot. 
oh, just horrific. Like, yeah, it, it almost a, looks a bit like a Hulkbuster suit in some of the Almost, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a weird proportion they have on the art at times where you're not sure how big it is. Like it seems to be mm. quite a bulky suit in some yeah, of like the, the for, art. Yeah, like the forearms are really, you yeah. know, Bulky. Kind of like a um, junior Hulkbuster suit is what it looks like mm. sometimes. I know? mean, it, it's so 90s, but I mean, it kind of works because think about it. It's like, okay, this is a 19-year-old Tony Stark who finally has the ability to build whatever suit he wants. It's just like yeah. a 19-year-old yeah. in 1996, you you might get this suit, yeah. No, no, I, yeah. I, I dig yeah. it. Like, and I liked seeing for once the Teenage Iron Man because I'd heard about it, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and I'd never ever read any of that. And so it was just fun. You know, seeing seeing what that was like, it was kind of a, a curio- curiosity, like historical thing for me, just to check it out, rather than a good story, because it wasn't a particularly good story. <laughs> no, I was tr- I'm trying to look at who the artist is, because there's, you know, you know why? Of... That's that's the question I was going to ask, because it yeah. looks like there's four different artists on there's this. Four different, yeah, yeah. So, really, yeah. It, it, which it, it doesn't seem too disruptive. I mean, but you can see the differences. But, yeah, um, Steve Geiger, uh, Derek Robertson. Dan Jurgens, our buddy, and Brandon McKinney. So, yeah, Derek so Robinson's was pretty in. good as well. Yeah, yeah. Derek Robinson from the Boys and um, mm. from um, Transmet was, isn't he? Yeah, I the think Boys. So, yeah. I, I know from yeah, um, yeah. No, but the I, I like the art. I mean, overall, the, despite the nineties um, flair that you get, it was it was really good. Because um, cool. you can get, you know, you get a lot of nineties. You can get a lot of nineties issues that really seem. Art wise, that it's phoned in, and and oh, yeah. you know, unfortunately, I have to say that to some of the artists, yeah. it, it just doesn't come to scratch. But um, this was quite good. I mean, for having good. four different artists, I think this was this was more cohesive than a lot of books where you'd get like mm. multiple artists. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, the, we the art was not the weak point in this book. The art was actually yeah, no, the strongest yeah. thing in this book. I was surprised because I didn't see. The, I I swear I don't know if I just missed the credits, but like I had to look up who wrote this. Like I'm surprised because he usually puts out some quality. Or uh, who was it? The late who, George yeah. Perez. Oh, oh, he wrote it. Yeah, he wrote wow. it. Yeah, he really got into the time travel thingy, didn't he? Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if some writers get into that trap of just oh hey look i know my hit my marvel history hey this i'll pull something from you know avengers yeah. number 11 yeah it's well, not necessarily it can be done goals. well it can be yeah. done well but yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all about course. execution you know like exactly. the, the actual concepts of this i didn't have a problem with it was i mean the the script is terrible like i'm sorry george press rest in peace you're great but this this was like i said this was mm. a cup of coffee script where he just yeah. kind of came up with something and put down a few ideas and you know just kept rolling yeah, and, and I always want. I always say it's probably the hardest thing to write a team book because it's like you have to use the characters as they appear in their in their monthly team book. So or their solo yeah. books. So it's oh, like yeah. maybe he didn't want to write teen, teen Iron Man, but guess what? Iron Man's a teenager at this point, so you have to write him that way. Or yeah, yeah, no, no. It's yeah. a um, it's a it's a challenge, and uh, you know, really, he put a lot of story into these pages. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, so. Yeah. It probably felt like a better idea in his mind when he pitched yeah. it than it was executed. Like, there, there, there is a story here that could be done well, um, you know, but it was the execution. I think it needed just heavily, it just heavily needed some editing, I think. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, uh, sorry again, R.I.P. Perez, a lot of waffle. Uh, in the dialogue mm. that could just be cut and it just could be tightened up, I think, a little bit more. What do you, uh, what do you think just because the issue is – it's like a bigger issue, like maybe if this had been a, a regular it, size issue and compressed and edited, it I would have been better? So. I think so. Yeah, I don't think it needed to really – I mean, there are – as you, I mean, we discussed, there are a lot of ideas, so maybe it just needed – it just seems that the dialogue was a little bit heavy and didn't yeah. really need to be. There's a lot – there are a lot of characters, so maybe Perez wanted to give everyone at least something to say, but – by doing that, you, you kind of uh, bog down the pacing of the, the story. Yeah, hundred um, so, yeah. percent, man. Oh, look, you, you know, I'm going to give it like, oh, I mean, five out of ten. Barely a pass. Four and what a are half. What are you giving it? Five. Right? Four, yeah, and half. four and a half. Five. It, 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 it's really teetering on to whether I you know, <laughs> possible as to you know yeah. what I mean. Just as in to read I it agree. again, I've got no inclination to read it again. But uh, how, how about you, Phil? 
I mean, I guess I'll be nice. I'll give it a six, but it, it's oh, gee, you're being very nice. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, you know what I think. <laughs> you know, what I think the big problem is I think Prez like tried. They like cram all the Avengers into this. I'm like, I don't know. If yeah, that's another thing. Maybe pick like I don't know three, four Avengers. Exactly. Totally agree. Totally yeah. agree. Cut, cut down the cast. You know, well, it like actually that. felt like an Avengers kind of oversized monthly comic, not a yeah. Spider-Man team up. It actually, mm. I was reading this thinking this feels like this could have just been an Avengers comic. Yeah, you know, there's, oh, no, there's so much inter-team sort of dialogue. How funny though is that that guy? Always that prick of a guy. What's his name? Grinch or something? He always turns oh, G- up. Gyrick, yeah, yeah. yeah. He turns yeah. Up, but he, he calls Captain America commis- uh, commissar Captain America. Yeah. I was like, who the yeah. f- is this guy? Like, you know, like <laughs> talking like this about Cap. Um, yeah. So He's yeah, there was a lot. There, there was a lot going on just Avengers wise in this. Like, mm. so, yeah. yeah. I know, because, cause again, it seemed like, you know, we had certain Avengers, and then Captain America seemed crowbarred in at certain points, and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, it, oh, it, it was hard to, I mean, I I knew who was on the Avengers, it was hard for me to keep track of, oh, uh, okay, oh, oh, hey, there's Crystal, there's uh, oh, Captain America, yeah. there's... I, you know, we, would be equally unhappy on the flip side, if if artistically or story-wise, the, all the Avengers were there, but, you know, if more than half of them didn't have anything to say, then it, it would be oh. painfully obvious as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I think maybe just cutting the crew down, maybe saying that half of the team are gone somewhere. You know, I, I don't want to venture into, like, giving ideas because I'm not, you know, obviously not. I will. The, I will. In the, the level I, I, I of mean, the writers, yeah. but, yeah. Uh, I'll yeah. give ideas. They, they could have mm-hmm. trimmed down the... I One of my things I always feel, and I'm not an Avengers, like, comic collector, I always feel like the team just feels vast whenever I read it, uh, unless it's certain specific times. I feel like it's a cast of thousands in the Avengers. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's very top heavy as well. It's very much an organization, like yeah. you know, and yeah. it's like a workplace. Like there's just so many people, and I just feel mm. that like if you're doing a team up, you want to keep the box relatively well, small to focus. Well, I mean, they do. I mean, they do have those rules, don't they, Phil? I mean, the the, the core teams are meant to be what six or seven, so you, you're stuck with like six or seven. And I think generally it works well in the fact that when you have subplots or secondary stories, then you split the team up, and, and that's yeah. that's to give the point a difference. And that's when it, I think it works. But when you, when everyone's on the same, you know storyline it gets a bit crowded it I, does i mean it depends it, yeah usually sometimes they have bylaws or whatever to say they only they limit yeah. the however many members but depending who's writing it you know that some True. people might just yeah. be like i can pull from this vast uh pool yeah. of members yeah. from the last you know however many 60 years or whatever so yeah yeah but yeah um all right so what was that four and a half five and six yeah uh for yeah it was pretty a little last shout out to Thor Fabio. Fabio. Oh, yeah. shirtless Thor. That was, that was funny. Chested. Barely his he did anything. Barely did so, anything in this storyline yeah. apart from just fly around a bit, you know. Fly around and look at his hair. Oh, yeah, because in the 90s, yeah, Thor, yeah, Odin stripped him of a lot of his power. He's like hanging yeah. out with the Enchantress on Earth. Yeah. Is he? Oh yeah! Oh, there! Oh yeah! <laughs> Mike Diodato is uh, drawing. Oh, yeah. oh, you should you should read that book. Uh, at cool. this time, at this time, Dave, because yeah, oh, yeah. the like the first arc, yeah, you get like half. Well, like there was like I, I still burned to my brain, man. There's a page or two of like Enchantress <laughs> just like hoarding a sheet over her, and that's all she's wearing. Yeah, oh, good. I like Dave's it. Already, I like it already. Dave's already clicking <laughs> that wicked witchcraft. <laughs> I'd say there's a bit of a running theme there. I'm currently reading the uh, the Diodato. Uh, I don't, I can't remember who the writer is. Uh, Tigra. Miniseries, of course, you are. Two thousand and six or eight, yeah. But you know, he Diodato was a, a, a you know a carnal scene, as always it seems. <laughs> 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 oh, Ray, I was got. I, I was telling Loth I needed to tell you the latest issue of Wonder Woman. I think it was like seven ninety two or something. Like I, I don't know if they're like re they're like doing something different with the cheetah. Like, she would been all animalistic before, and now, I don't know if they're doing something different. But, like, she comes walking in in, like, uh, like these tight clothes. At, and she kind of looks like Tigra. I was like, oh. are we trying to turn Cheetah in, like, a yeah, wow. like a Tigra or something? Tiger, tiger direction. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be checking that out. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, meow. That's <laughs> <laughs> a drop. <laughs> All right, do we, we want to do the we want to do the spectacular Spider-Man issues? Yeah, 
All right. I'll kick this off by saying um, I felt this was very, very, very mediocre. Okay. I actually found this, although it read fast, I felt the Avengers one was actually more interesting just because it had okay. more people. Like, right, right, the, right. the, the storyline in both is poor. And, and believe you yeah. me, I couldn't care less about Willow Wisp or whoever that guy is. Mm. But I was like, man, it didn't feel like that long ago we were we were we were doing this um, podcast and we had Tom Falco, we had Jamie DiMatteis, Howard Mackie. They were really bouncing around, you know, ideas that kept me really interested. I, I found myself truly bored during these two issues, and I was like, wow, it really felt like this was the B team's month. Yeah. I, you know what? I think from now to the end of this clone saga, like we we lose some people. Like JMD Mateus is gone, yeah. but he magically mm-hmm. reappears as soon as the on Spectacular Spider Man. As soon as the yeah. clone saga is over, so I think people were, right. yeah, because yeah, yeah. this one was uh, by Todd DeZago, who kind of like he's, starts he's writing up every now. Yeah, he he he, he, he starts yeah. writing some books now until the end of the clone saga. So yeah, yeah. well, mm-hmm. I look in t- like I think of it this way: I'd not read this before this these issues. I, I think I, I think back to myself. If I went into a comic store back then and read this, would I buy the next issue? The answer would be no. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. Unless it was pure, pure brand loyalty to that particular title. I'm just talking like I go and I pick this one up. A lot of the Clone Saga stuff we've done, I would keep reading. A mm-hmm. lot of it. Um, I felt this one was, was very non-essential um, and almost should have been a single issue rather than two issues, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Might, might have made it a bit more punchy. Just my yeah. opinion, guys. I, I, I thought this no, was no, very absolutely. forgettable. Yeah. No, okay. Um, yeah, uh, I'm a slightly different. Uh, I, I I guess there were a few things here that kind of piqued my interest. Um, mm. Number one, I'd say Will of the Wisp. I know he's not a, a factor, like a, a huge villain for Spider-Man, but for me, I've always associated him with... Um, that's kind of like I'd say, like charming, um, kooky villains mm. or, or allies that Spider Man have. So I, I put him in the kind of the, the sandboxes, say uh, like Carrion, Puma, mm. um, uh, I love Puma. Puma's yeah, great. Pace Pot, yeah, Pace Pot, Pete. You know, all those right. kind of really um, those Spider Man wacky rogues, gal- rogue villains or allies that. Um, Rocket Racer, you know, Sand, even Sandman as well. I know he's a lot bigger now. He's a great. He's a great. Yeah. But, I mean, Will of the Wisp, I've always seen him around. Like, he was part of that, um, the, um, the, the Silver Sable, and the um, she had a, a little team The Wild going. Pack. The Wild the Pack. The Wild Pack, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so I've always been intrigued with him, so I, I kind of enjoyed seeing him here. And I guess number two as well, I... I viewed these spectacular Spider-Man issues, again, kind of akin to some of the Spider-Man issues that I've loved, which is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it, it's definitely the Sal Buscema art, but yes. is it Jerry Conway that was writing it at the time? Um, no, no. Uh, whoever was writing it in that era with Sal Buscema... Um, Jerry Conway did write it during then, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you mean like yeah, like late 80s, early 90s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry, Jerry Conway... Yeah. Jerry Conway was kind of writing Spectacular and Web of Spider-Man yeah. at that time, so yeah. Yeah, but um, Jerry Conway and Sal Buscema, those sorts of stories, this story reminded me of that, you know, by having Dragon Man as well. Uh, it's a very a very simple plot. Nothing I did too... like Dragon Man. I did like that yeah. that was in there. Yeah. That was actually, that, that piqued my interest, I think, more. Mm. Um, yeah, Dragon Man's always I, cool. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I find when I read these comics, uh, at times, I feel like, <laughs> They are literally, you know how there was like comics of the kids and all that. Mm. Sometimes I read them, I'm like, this is definitely targeting a younger audience, mm. like yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, you know, like twelve yeah. under. And I yeah. felt that that you know, if I had nephews or something, this would be one I would toss them amongst many other better ones yeah. just to give them. Yeah, you know, like it's this is when they're just grinding them out. This is exactly. just grind well, style comics, yeah, you know. Exactly, it's for me, and there's something comforting about that. I mean, Phil, I've raised it many times with you. Night and Fog, there's you know, the Z grade, <laughs> that sort of stuff I love. That, that was in not, um, what's not Night and Fog, Fog are these British villains that lasted like two issues or something. They were um, chasing, God, what's his name? The guy with the glasses, Phil? Oh, um, the Arranger, the Kingpin's the old right-hand man, chasing, yeah. The change, chasing the Arranger. They were this oh. really, one guy could put on, he could, 
I don't know, kind of like Colossus, but he kind of arms Yeah, they, they kind of get kinda powers like, in an accident, surprise. Yeah, the one can, yeah. like, armor up, and the other one can turn to, like, Is it mist. Marvel or, or not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Marvel, no, yeah, yeah they, they, it was like a three-issue spectacular Spider-Man arc. That's, like, the only time oh, yeah, it appeared. Yeah, it was, was yeah. Spider-Man versus these guys. But it, it was that kind of, like... Um, you know, silly, stupid mm. adventure. Which, 90s. Again, this is yes, 90s. early 90s. I just, I just, yeah. yeah, and and I kind of like those silly stories. And mm. I, so I'll put this in that same vein. Um, I, I thought the pacing went well. Uh, two, two issues was all you needed. Um, you had Jonas Harrow. I mean, he was the least interesting, but at least you had Wisp and Dragon Man there. So, yeah, no, I, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, cool. How cool. about yourself, Phil? Yeah, the whole thing with Jonas Harrow and uh, Willow Wisp and stuff, like, those characters, I I mean, yeah, like Ray said, I think Wisp may have made one appearance in the early 90s, but those are, like, such a, like, I know they appeared in the 80s, so I don't know if Todd DeZaga mm. just had, like, you know, some of his favorite stuff from, like, the 80s and just threw, threw him in a book, but... Yeah, you he could. Had he, the hand, he, he had the handbook yeah. handy. He yeah, probably had the yeah, hard yeah. copy, a printed Which version is cool. of the handbook. I, and I don't, yeah. I, you know what, if I was writing Marvel, I would too. And if yeah. it's done very well, it can be done well. It was done fine here. Like, this is adequate mm. stuff. Uh, but what's the harm in having a handbook and bringing out a few C- oh, no, CD nothing at all. Like, There's yeah. no harm. Like, Jeff exactly. Johns did it on Green Lantern, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. to great effect. Um, it's handy. You know, because otherwise, yeah. you're, just, you're just doing the ones who are always every yeah. writer well, does. And yeah. it's, it's, you know, oh, it's Green Goblin again. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Like, exactly. I, I mean, I get it. I mean, I don't say it's a bad story, but I could tell this was in, like, a new writer. Like, yeah, different than, who, you know, who was ever writing Spectacular previously. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean, true. Uh, it was still, I don't know, still enjoy, enjoyable yeah. enough, I think, for me. Uh, the art as well was uh, was pretty, was good. I thought it was good, um, and I, I, I yeah. like the stuff with Peter. I noticed that um, uh, Peter is oh, and, and Mary Jane are obviously back now. He has the heart attack, and he's in mm. hospital. It's yeah. um, it, okay. This thing is going to be weird because we're going to kind of get the Peter stuff out of order. Because I mean, look at these two spectacular Spider-Man issues. You could tell that it takes place one after the other because of what you know what Ben's doing with Dragon Man and stuff. Mm. Yeah, but it's like I swear, probably coming up maybe next month. You're going to see Peter ha- actually pass out and have, like, an attack and get rushed to the hospital at the end of a Spider-Man issue. Right. So, so, so the really timeline's kind of wonky, yeah. Cause, oh, yeah. That, yeah. They address it in the um, in the trade as well. It says, um, you know, pages 115 of, of uh, yeah. this issue 235, uh, including Peter's spasm, occurs before Peter's collapse. So um, right. even in the trades as well, because I'm reading, this is off um, book five. But yes. book four still has that issue um, after those issues we covered last time with mm. Peter's collapse. So it, it's, it is wonky. It's all. Yeah. You know, but I was going to yeah. say, I noticed when Mary Jane's waiting in the hospital waiting room that she's still pregnant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Still heavily mm. pregnant. Um, so oh, yeah. what happens yeah. with that? Is it, does she actually have a kid or is it a miscarriage or, or what is the story? Um, she kind of gets poised. Uh, the mastermind sends someone to like poison her and she kind of miscarries it at the end she does. yeah we'll get the, yeah you'll get the, we'll get that at the end right. at the last I, week I'm of this like, 90s i know that's a story that time forgot kind of thing you know what i mean right like they yeah. just don't bring that up and oh, I, they and don't I'm mention like, it no yeah which is probably a good idea but but i'm also yeah. when you see it you're like oh that's right you know what i mean it's mm. you think yeah they they almost went through with it I, we were talking in jamie Mateus the other week and he said it would have been interesting to actually have had the baby he thought it was a really yeah. good idea to have the baby and um it's so weird how they haven't revisited it because it is such yeah. a big concept and you know marvel has been known i mean i guess dc as well just to rehash older ideas and um but it's weird that mary jane she's had like minis and and limited series of her own and yeah. nothing's really come of it so well it's it's odd and i believe at this point in time quite recently cb sabowski gave this um answer to someone asking at a con and he was like no we're not gonna have put them together like you're not gonna get the answer you want or something and i was just like mm. okay like <laughs> yeah it's odd, like odd, odd a lot of people clamoring for that including myself and they're like yeah no nah, yeah because nah, yeah, yeah, they, they're kind of teasing now like i don't know if peter's gonna get back with felicia uh, yeah I, I don't get it because like so much of their product and so much of the movies and stuff have that in it it's weird the comics don't I, I don't understand. Yeah, and, and there's so many people clamoring for it, and it's like, bring yeah. that marriage back. I mean, look what they're... I mean, DC, I mean, 
they brought back Superman's marriage because people, you know, look, they have yeah. a TV show about him being a married father now. They're like, and and mm. like it doesn't weaken the character. I I just don't get I it don't because know. it's not like they did it for two years. And no, yeah, no. They had it for a long time, so it's embedded in the culture. No, that marriage was like Perception. 20 twenty years. It was like from eighty seven yeah. to. The, again, the two thousand seven. I, I sometimes yeah. think I've called him up or C B Sabowski. I sometimes think this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Well, like no. he, him mm. and Bree Vought together, I'd love to see them both go. I, I've called for them many <laughs> times, but they won't. It's like they've signed a life deal with fucking Mephisto to be a <laughs> Marvel. Because no matter how poorly the books do, no matter how much fans hate what they're producing, they somehow just still exist. Yeah. Like, it's bizarre. I think I think that the comics these days on both sides are just seen as a loss leader because it's like, oh, yeah. especially Marvel, oh, if we can spend billion dollar movies out of yeah. it, oh, what yeah. is it? Yeah. Kind of yeah. Well, that was my. I, I was gonna. I was gonna ask, um, but even that's not really consistent. Whether it's the fact that in the MCU, you know, with Tom Holland, that they are now portraying Spider Man as you know just recently left high school or you know getting into uni, so he's he's meant to be the young version. That maybe Marvel's viewing. Okay, well, we've got. But to even he has a comics. romance with the with the. Zendaya. That's true. I yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It it's, is, just, it's strange. It's and it, and Zibby Sabowski, yeah. when questioned, was evasive, and he was like, "I know that's what you want, but you're not going to get it." And I was and just listen, like, "Man," and, it, and it's it. like, it's like, why don't you marry him? It's like you want to sing. You want a single Spider Man. You have how many Spider People now? Miles Morales. There's your single young single Spider Man. Yeah, exactly. Good point. I mean, and unless there's a huge plan for Mary Jane and Peter, there's no reason to. Yeah, I can't see why the editor in chief would say, "Oh, don't worry about it." You know, there are no plans. I've got an answer for you, Ray. He's a clown. He's always yeah. been a clown. He's a moral coward. It's Akira Yoshida. He's been lying since the get go. Um, now I've got uh, something. Of, uh, now that I've got off my soapbox about CV. Um, who, by the way, I haven't tweeted recently, Ray. We haven't had <laughs> communication <laughs> lines have broken down again. Um, <laughs> I have a thing. Richard and I were discussing on Signal uh, last show. It was about the like Madam Web movie and the Craven movie and this mm-hmm. and that. And I was saying it's weird that I don't have Spider-Man. I pitched that I know that Peter Parker is kind of tied up with the Marvel Universe and they probably mm-hmm. need Marvel, you know, kind of co-approval and stuff. Why couldn't you bring in from the bench like Ghost Spider to play the role of the central spider character in those movies because ghost spider is popular she's got that great design she's similar enough she could easily fill the role like yeah. she ticks enough of the boxes and she's yeah. in spider verse and kids know who it is you could bring her in and sub her in to play that role what do you think yeah i, I think that's a good idea I, i'm racking my brain now like, i i just i always wonder if it's just legal stuff because uh, be. you know just the characters sony are trying to spin a movie out of i just think you know maybe marvel's like no well if you try to do live action go spider no we have to be involved if you yeah. try to do a live action miles morales we have to do that oh you want to do craven oh yeah go ahead do that because surely i thought that it was more of a creative like the financial take was mostly um, Sony's. I, I read anyway, and that mm. like it was Peter Parker that was the one that they were co-sharing. Yeah, okay. You know, because I mean, it, it does seem weird though that they're basing their their movies on you know largely like Madam Web. Madam Web's know? an odd decision. It's, you know, not even going for what you pitched, Dave, and having Gwen, who might be a replacement for for Peter yeah. Parker. She's not even featured in that movie. Um, you know, so it's weird. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, um, I think I think there's certain ones they have to share, they don't share. Yeah, oh, yeah. But again, too, you know, you know, Sony wants to try to find the ones they don't have to share because then they get a hundred percent of the profits, and yeah. you know, instead yeah. of having to split with Disney and stuff. So you're saying when they bought when they bought it all those years ago? I, I'm pretty sure yeah. they've said that with other characters. But you know, before yeah. they bought like the X Men, or you know, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. When they make deals, I think they spell it out in detail. It's like we get this character, this character, this character. Yeah. 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 Ghost Spider wasn't even created when when Sony bought the Spider Verse. Like Sony owned the Spider Spider Verse in the late nineties. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but the more yeah, yeah, but that Marvel deal, but they didn't deal with Marvel until like or or Disney until was it like two two at least two thousand nine. Yeah, but what I'm I'm wondering if they even own the rights to. But around the time of like Civil War when Spider Man first appeared in the MCU, I think there was a big, you know, that's when contracts were signed and yeah. Re re evaluate, re design. Well, 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 Lilith has a theory where it's like she doesn't think like uh, Disney could have. couldn't use Uncle. even mention Uncle Ben in those movies because you really don't mention Uncle Ben in those movies. 
You don't. You don't. And he was literally replaced yeah. by Aunt May. Yeah, True. Ex- yeah. Yeah. But he was all through the original two, you know, franchise. Yeah, Sony. Pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Purely yeah. Sony, yeah. But again, I, yeah. I just don't think Disney, I don't know. Either there they couldn't the or, or they had to pay extra money and there's, they're just there's like, There's more nah. to it. Yeah, there's more yeah. to it. They, I, I agree. It's like, legal. But I do think so. it would behoove Sony to cut a deal to get a Spider character in those movies. It doesn't oh, have to be Peter absolutely. Parker. And I think Ghost Spider is a really good choice. She's female. Mm. She's She's got a great costume. She, her awesome personality costume. is pretty yeah. similar. You, yeah. you can ride her with the wisecracking and stuff like, and she's in into the, she's in into the Spider Verse, and she's in Amazing yeah. Friends thing that cartoon. Yeah. So kids know her. That's kids know that's her. why I'm thinking where it's kind of like, oh, you guys can do it in animation, but you can't use her or like Miles in live action because yeah, they they do have in the, you know like into the Spider Verse and stuff. So why wouldn't you do live action? So mm. yeah, and so Phil and Lilith are on the bridge eating popcorn, waiting for that train to just you know come off the rails. The Sony movies, you know, like Madam Web and Craven, like all of them are just gonna. What well, is oh, that, right, Phil? You, you they reckon they're all gonna bomb. Bo- they're all gonna bomb? I mean, I, if I'm they even get made, if they even get made, because yeah. remember, I mean, they were promising us a Black Cat Silver Sable movie for how well, long? They, they are shooting Madam yeah. Web now. They are shooting. Yeah, oh yeah, I they're, they're deep in production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um uh, due out, I think, early to twenty four. Well, so. well, well, hey, well, hey, Dave, we were gonna get a a, a uh, Batgirl a Batgirl movie too. That was getting filmed yeah. too, and yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. No, I, 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 I'm with you guys. I, I, I'll join you on that bridge. I, I think, unfortunately, the, the <laughs> no, longer I'm, I'm they hoping, go on... Although yeah, they, spun, and, they uh, spun Morbius into, uh, into existence, mm, so I who know, knows? but it, it wasn't a hit, was it? Like, it didn't no. make big money. I can't, so. believe the, hoping, I can't believe the internet was like, oh, yeah, re-release that in I theaters. Know. We'll go see it, and then no one... And then, yeah, <laughs> it's more than silly. Yes. I'm hoping Madden Web goes well. I, I just have no interest, unfortunately, in Craven. Like, you know, I, he's... I do. He... he I'd well, I'd, I'd have more of it if he was playing off Spider Man, you know, or Peter. Yeah, yeah. But for him having a solo movie, I just, I don't know. I just don't know how I should feel. But about what about that. if he's? It'd be look. It could be done. Uh, I would mm. bring a little bit of Spider, like a, like a sprinkle of Spider Man in there. But I'd mm. have him like hunting the rhino and stuff. Like, okay. You could do yeah, it. Yeah. I'd almost make it like a Sinister Six kind of thing. Okay. Um, maybe he's hunting them. Something. I, yeah. I I think it could be done. Whether audiences will respond. Mm. And whether they do a good job. After I saw Morbius, uh, which a movie that I was like, this is very ordinary. I'm enjoying mm. it for what it is, but yeah. it's nothing special. Whereas I quite enjoyed the two Venom films, you know? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I had fun with both of them. I thought both of them were fun movies. So, well, I don't know. See, even then, I mean, so I think Venom and, and Morbius, I, I think the concept for the characters is exciting. For, and I'm talking about appeal to not only just comic book fans, but the greater audience you know sure. they've they've got they've both got a hook whereas i think craven the hunter is just a little bit you know bland to try and pitch to someone that hasn't read the comics or actually know about craven's last hunt because let's face it that's the first go-to we all think about when we think about mm. craven um you know yeah. so they're trying to pitch this guy in, in the loincloth just hunting mm. things that's what know. ray's that ray thinks is missing he needs that damn loincloth <laughs> Well, in the movie. Yeah, Ray's clearly wanting that. He wants the shotgun in the I'll mouth. Um, <laughs> <I'll die. laughs> Whoa! No, but like, um, it'd be cool if... I'm just trying to think of the of ways to do it. It would be cool if he was hunting like some of Spider-Man's rogues and doing really cool takedowns of them and stuff. Yeah, there, there has to be a connection. You're going to have to either get, you know, Mark Gargan, you know, Sc- Scorpion, um, yeah. you know, or Michael Keaton. You know, you know you've, got to, you've got to somehow connect. You've got to get it. Rhino in there. Yeah. Because that what was, was what's oh, the guy's name? Paul Giamatti, who played Rhino. Remember oh, Paul Giamatti? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I like the Ultimate Rhino suit, but his character was abysmal. Like, it, was it was terrible. terrible. Yeah. It was yeah. he was he took a paycheck for that one. That's all he did. Oh, he was and, like, but, sure, I'll take the money. The frustrating thing is because he's a good actor. You know, he's you, a great actor. Paul you Giamatti, kind of, excellent. You, yeah. You've wasted, you know, yeah. your talent it was, there. It was anyway. a joke. It was a joke. But um. Yeah, oh, look, I'm, I just thought, yeah, it's worth discussing and um, we'll yeah. see. But Rich hated my idea. But Rich is passionately against all the Spider family. He, he oh, hates yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah. He, yeah, he's just, know. He's he, just down on the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like Peter Parker or, or Bust, isn't it? Peter so. Parker or Bust. Whereas I'm like, yeah. they've got um, Ghost Spider. They've got Ghost. They've got Miles Morales. Miles Morales um, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. They've got, they've got enough characters there on the bench that I think that sometimes... It, 
it's worth subbing one of those guys in and they can play the yeah. same role that Peter would have done. And you don't totally. have the problem of having to share it. But as you say, Phil, there's probably a ton of deals that we're totally unaware of yeah. um, behind the scenes. Can I just shift, guys? I wanted to mention that I watched uh, with Michelle just tonight the finale of the She-Hulk and I was very impressed. Oh, yeah. And I, we've enjoyed the show. I, it's been an absolute... It's kind of been a pleasure to watch, frankly. Mm. And I thought, the, I thought the finale was excellent. Yeah, I, I, I agree as well. Look, the only real quibble I had was, and I think one of the reviewers put it, um, was that the CGI was inconsistent oh, yeah. in some, you know, well, which kind of took you, yeah. kind of took you out. Like there were, like there were some stunning like CGI effects. Like there was the moments where She Hulk looked awesome, you know, like really realistic. But and most of the other, time, she didn't. You know, she looked she looked like a, a video game character, yeah. which unfortunately was a, a downer, but. St- Tatiana Maslany, I think um, the um, the tone of the show, I think the the cameo appearances, surprise guest stars, I think it was all gold. I I loved it. I loved it. Can I bring up? If you've seen it, Phil, haven't you? Oh yeah, yeah, I watched the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It, there's, so there's spoilers here. This is for you, Ray. At the end with Hulk and his spoiler son, mm. Michelle was not reacting positively. She's like, "Who the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> <You> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I was like, it's. I was like, it's a long story. Like, no, that was my wife. She's like, he has a son. I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah. He's got, and then, then Michelle was like, he seems yeah. like a real dick. And I was like, I think <laughs> he kind of is. I think he that's is. Who's kind of scar? Yeah. yeah, he's a dick. But I totally agree with Michelle. Um, again, like just a little, just a little. Quibble. It wasn't enough to ruin the the episode or anything mm. for me. But it just seemed tacked on. It, it, it seemed really did. out of place. It's like. We had all this fun fourth wall breaking stuff. We had, yeah. you know, Kevin the the AI unit. That was all, cool. That was so, and I, did you? I, my jaw was on the floor when um, that that menu came up and she Hulk cool. busted yeah. out of it. Love I'm going, that. what? I told awesome. told you, she, 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 they were doing a John yeah. Byrne break the fourth wall, yeah. and yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that all all that good stuff, and then like trying to bring in. Not yeah. a big ticket character, but he's a significant character of a significant. Arc I would honestly in a Hulk say arc. save that it's... for a Hulk movie yeah, rather than just yeah. just kind of ruin it. You know, well, was that what they're been, dropping? Yeah. Saying, "Oh, hey, Planet Hulk's coming," or yeah, yeah but I'd yeah, rather yeah. wait for Planet Hulk to see it. You know? Yeah, mm. like yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, as Ray's saying, I felt kind of cheated by just having him pop into the family barbecue. I was kind of like, mm. "This is how we're introducing this character." <laughs> I think um, it was a tick that they had to, to – the box that they had to tick. Like, we've got to fit him in somewhere. I'll oh, just chuck I, him in there. If yeah. Hulk's son's there, where's Dakin? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, Wolverine's son. Well, we got to we got we got to introduce the X Men first because I love how she was even yeah. like, "Are we going to get the? When are we going to get the X Men?" Oh, that, was, that was the best, one of the best moments as well. Yeah, really. Good. Yeah, so I just wanted to put oh. that out there to listeners that I really did enjoy that mm-hmm. show. I thought it was a lot of. fun. Oh, I have to ask about Dave's favorite character. What did you think of Daredevil? It's okay. I like, I don't mind Daredevil. Um, yeah, no, I I like. I've watched all the. Um, I like that actor, and I watched all the Daredevil yeah. shows. No, no, I I um. The only time that you'll see me really go rapidly anti Daredevil is when he's fighting Punisher. That's when my. <laughs> that's when I really. But no, no. In general, I I have liked. I've watched all the Daredevil with Charlie Cox, yeah. and I think it's really cool that he's in the universe. Yeah. Yeah, because there was a lot of um, a flack, I guess, Dave, of yeah. his tone being a little bit more light-hearted in in She Hulk yeah. as opposed to the. It's darker. a light-hearted show. What do they expect? Exactly. That's uh, exactly. He's yeah, and also that like. actor's got a fairly light touch a lot of the time, even mm-hmm. in his yeah. own show. He he did have yeah. a light touch at times. So I mean, yeah. honestly, th- these are people who are just complaining about everything. You know, oh, anyway. yeah. yeah, that's Richard. Richard be complaining about that. <laughs> if he was here. if he was here right now. Richard be complaining about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, exactly. I'll complain for him on his behalf. <laughs> I can't wait. Twenty. I think it's not till twenty twenty four. But I mean, yeah, Daredevil's getting a born again series, eighteen yeah. episodes. Uh, yeah. Bring it on. Hopefully, Punisher Dave, you, comes back in, man. Hope, I'm can, hoping John Berthnot comes back. Stick around on this mud ball, Dave. Until then, do you? What do you reckon? Yeah. Well, there was um, <laughs> on the show last week. Uh, Rich announced um, with glee that some of the Marvel films have been pushed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Into the future. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm going to have to stick around until 2026 or something for Secret why Wars. He, so, you know. Why is Richard happy about that? That's actually, he's losing he his loves, bet. But he's losing loves, his bet now. He is losing his bet. He's forgotten yeah. about his bet. 
Because he just loves sticking. Yeah. He, he's yeah, been course, prophesizing the end of the Marvel Cinematic yes, Universe of for yeah, years. So, so Phil, sorry, you know. sorry, going to interrupt there, Dave. So Phil, so um, Dave's co-host Richard yeah. uh, made a huge call that by end of twenty twenty five was it or twenty twenty five? Yeah. That um, there'll be like no more comic book movies. That everyone will move on. Um, that's the end of you know, which is not per- going to happen because the they've just got so many is, slated yeah. that some at least will keep going. It's, it's impossible. So, we haven't got Fantastic Four. We haven't got X Men. It's, yeah. it's yeah. it was a stupid comment from Richard, but he put a lunch on it, so I was happy to take yep. the bet. Um, so what are you telling me, Richard's just being a dick? <laughs> oh, it's just his personality. Uh, okay. He just he oh, yeah, he just yeah, looks yeah. on the negative aside yeah. for Mar- he's not a huge Marvel guy, so he. He no. takes great delight if they ever have a sort of. Um, of course, it's a tall poppy him. syndrome. So, yeah. so. <laughs> and he's also just a bit of a grump. So that's oh, yeah, yeah, what yeah. it boils down to. You know? Oh my god, <laughs> Dave is the light-hearted one. <laughs> I am. Oh yeah. Oh, no, oh my god. Rich. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, don't forget we're, it's twelve thirty-three a.m. here, so I'm pretty tired. Yeah. But no, uh, Rich does. He's very much a glass half empty kind of guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like a broken, broken glass. And he would know, definitely, uh, he would definitely agree with that comment as well. Like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, looking back at tracking back at, um, I don't know the, are we are we marking this issue or we're going to mark I'm, both I'm, issues? I'm giving or? both. I'm giving the two issues uh, overall a five. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, like the ex- I, I think it's almost the exact same score as the team up. Frankly. Different oh, okay. flavor, different flavor, and it's passable, but but it's just passable to me, you know. Okay, okay, yeah. No, I mean, I'll give it a, a little bit more. I, I, I edge towards a seven. I, I think um, seven. this has all all the ingredients of <laughs> this has all the ingredients of you know your typical Spider Man title. Like, you know, there's a little bit of relationship drama, Peter in hospital, that sort of stuff. Kooky villains, um, yeah. crazy Jonas Harrow, some mad scientist. Uh, had some wild action, so all that sort of stuff. But everything that I mentioned as well, there is a nostalgic factor to it, which colours yeah. my view, and uh, and the fact that I, I kind of like, you know, the likes of Will of the Wisp and as as I mentioned, those those sorts of characters in the Marvel universe. There's just something that really cool about them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with Ray. I'm thinking we give it a seven. I mean, wow. te- technically, it's not a. It, it, they're not a. It's not a bad story. I think it's just maybe a little bland. Maybe we could have added some stuff. I did like certain elements, just like you know, even Ben sitting there talking, you know, calling Peter, and it's like, oh, it's hot. nice to have Peter back in town yeah, because Ben had never encountered Willow Wisp before, so he's just like, oh, hey, what's the story on this guy? Uh, I always like that yeah. element. Yeah, and then you know. <laughs> Peter's, for all you know, Peter's having like a heart attack or something, and Jonah's still like, "Get out of my office!" How funny was yeah, it when right. Peter has his feet up on the desk? Yes, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonah's Jonah's yeah. thing. That was a good moment. That was actually yeah. one of my favorite parts of this storyline was the Peter Ben interaction. I actually enjoyed that quite mm-hmm. a bit. So, yeah. You know what? I'm going to raise my score to a five point five. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah five point no, five. You know, uh... you've, you've swayed me. <laughs> Yeah, it just got you know enough fantastical stuff as well to kind of keep that. As you say, Dave, I, th- I think this this would really do well for like younger yeah, readers. Yeah, and, for sure. You know, I got yeah. no, you know, I got no. Not every saying story. That I enjoy not every story young, has to be yeah. Watchmen. Not every story has. Yeah, to be Yeah, exactly. Dark, Absolutely. Like, you can just Absolutely. pump out stories that are just like a good solid, like yeah. a six point five yeah. to a seven, fine or a popcorn. six to seven, and they're just fine. And, and, it, and, they and again, you're ch- you're churning out four regular Spider-Man books a yeah. month at this 100%. point, and I think Team yeah, Up 100%. was like a quarterly or something. So yeah, I mean, you got yeah. plenty of you know, gonna yeah. churn out a lot of. I mean, them. yeah, and as you said, Dave, like. Uh, that Spider-Man team up, you know, although it isn't a regular book, that did not feel like a Spider-Man book for me. As you said, that no. was like more of an okay. Avengers. Whereas these two issues are very much kind of like Spider-Man books. No, they're proper um, Spider-Man so. books. And, yeah, and, yeah. You know, like, it is fun to have, you know, that's the fun part about the Clone Saga, that you have Ben and you have Peter and you have Mary Jane and they're all sort of good guys. So they're like their own little team, you know, like yeah. they're chatting between them and stuff. That's kind of fun, kind yeah, of to yeah, me. It is. Like, like, I must say, I'm enjoying the Ben Riley stuff so much more than I thought I would, you know, because mm. I only knew it by reputation, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it is a lot of fun. And, you know, you, you get some hidden gems as well, which we've kind of covered. Sure. Yeah. Um, hits, hits and misses, though, as you see, because that comes oh. with the territory for the, the length of it. Um, just, the, I just want to call out, you know, there's one little scene here that I, I found pretty cool. It's when Willow the Wisp uh, catches up with Harrow and he, he talks about, like, how 
Ben ripped out the implants by, you know, mm. by when he was intangible. And, and then so he kind of goes into Harrow's chest and, um, and then he kind of backs off. And he and he says to yeah. Peter and Dragon, "What do you think I was going to do?" And I thought that's so funny because I thought what, he was going to rip was his he heart doing? out. I, 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 that's what I thought he was going to do. What was he going to do? Well, that that was it. I, I think, think it was, was just scared. a symbolic thing. It's like, oh, hey, yeah. look, I, I was gonna, I'm going to rip your heart him. out, but you have no yeah. heart, you know? <laughs> yeah, just to scare him. Yeah, but, it was um, just a scare tactic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like he could that, easily that have done it. Someone off the building, kind of thing. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. yeah. I could have easily done it, I reckon. Yes, um, Dave, the Batman thing. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, War the Captain, Batman. I don't know, Ray. My favorite character. on Batman these days. You know, <laughs> Ray rarely <laughs> leaves Gotham City. Uh, Batman, <laughs> my favorite well, I character. will admit, though, that I do, I did love the Xbox game. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Arkham, Arkham Asylum, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arkham, Arkham Asylum, Asylum Arkham yeah. City and Arkham Knight. Yeah, oh, yeah. Arkham Asylum's good if you haven't played Ar- 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 Yeah, Arkham Asylum's good. If you haven't played Arkham City, right? Oh, it's awesome because you just get to like yeah. go through the city. I think I played, yeah. two, I played two. So I think I think I must have played Arkham City as well. The, yeah, I, re- the last I remember. One's the best one, Arkham Knight's the best one, I think. Oh, know? okay. I really think I might have missed that. I just Jason remember being. Like just getting so into it because you know you can explore the whole city, but then um, I remember being slightly disappointed at the end because I got up to the last like the end like that last bit, and then obviously took me a few goes because it was quite difficult. But then like the credits started, it's like oh no, is that the end? (laughs) Like it's like just wanted to stay there, man. Yeah, into the dark fun. night, all to do yeah. with Batman. Before we know it, Ray one day will be renouncing Conchu and he'll be burning his <laughs> moonlight hood, and he'll be taking up the mantle of the Bat. That, no, he's night. he's he's sacrificed how many virgins, Dave? He's not giving he's up Conchu. Sacrificed a lot of virgins, yeah. mm. but maybe he's starting <laughs> to run out of them. They're hard to find in Sydney, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the places we frequent, Dave. So. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, the end of the iniquity that we 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 frequent and visit. <laughs> but um, but yeah, Ray, just reach out. Tell him, tell me when next year you guys want to do some uh, Batman Predator era crossover. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I'm yeah. all down for that. Dave, you in? Oh, you 100%. Be- yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Batman Predator, please. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of them are good. I love all three. They're all good. They're oh, all okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all good. good. Awesome. It's all good, good value. But um, well, I mean, I don't know how much more there is to say. But uh, w- what's up next? Phil? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Dave. Uh, yes, next month we'll be covering Spider-Man seventy and seventy-one, Sensational oh. Spider-Man number seven, and Amazing Spider-Man or yeah, Amazing Spider-Man four fourteen, featuring the first appearance of someone who I know is going to be one of Dave's new favorites, Delilah, the oh. the sexy assassin. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, well, I'm looking yeah. forward to that. And, and also, what's your um? You know that uh, show you do with the brackets of the worst movies. Oh, up to? on Patreon. Oh, uh, yeah. well, in for the October episode, we're gonna have Spawn uh, first Meteor Man, and then in November, we're gonna take the Marvel finalist, the DC finalist, and the indie finalist. We're finally we're gonna crown a winner in November, Dave. Yeah. So. Wow, so it's all heating up. Uh huh. Sign up to that Patreon, kids. That's right, kids. Subscribe to the Patreon. Catch up on the seasons before the finale in November. I'm glad Bloodshot made it. (laughs) I'm glad he didn't make the cut. You know what I mean? (laughs) Well, maybe if we do a round two, Ray, you never know. No, 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 no. (laughs) I didn't hate it. I didn't hate Bloodshot. No, I didn't hate it as well. I I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, so I couldn't. Okay. Look, it's 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 possible. Like it's inoffensive. It's Vin Diesel. It is. Like honestly. (laughs) I put it around the same level as Morbius. Morbius, like, I, yeah. I thought okay. it was gotcha. decent enough to watch. I, I, yeah. You know, I'm not going to sit there saying it's the worst movie of all time. You know, mm. yeah, no, it's sure. Morbin time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the proverbial ten dollar uh, prostitute, Dave? It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. <laughs> Ten dollars, jeez! I don't know where you're getting. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's an old that's an old joke. So I'm sure even, <laughs> like, even the cheap <laughs> ones are more now. Yeah. <laughs> Ten dollars is not going to get you too far. At Dave's all. like, I pay much more for my cheap hookers. <laughs> won't, won't get you through the door. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ray, Ray chuckles knowingly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what are you saying? Are you saying Ray was a cheap hooker? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I, I neither confirm nor deny anything. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping it slow now. 
All, <laughs> all right. So yes, kids. Uh, yes, come back. Yes, in a month we'll be covering that. Uh, and for the other uh, episodes of November, we'll be in our, I believe, yes, our fourth annual uh, Gobble Gobble Month, where we uh, make fun of any of the goblins. And uh, this time we're back to uh, Mac and Dale. Oh, it's except for. Uh, yeah, next week, kids, you'll hear me and Lil talking about Spider-Man vs. Wolverine number one and Web of Spider-Man uh, 29. Nice. I believe those are some dead leads, but uh, yes, so send, yeah. your, send your thoughts. Spider-Man Wolverine, Dave, you, you love that. That's oh, uh, Christopher Christopher Priest. Yeah. Absolutely love yeah. it. Like, it's a Alzi. great, great, great comic, actually, frankly. Yeah. 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 No, it's a great comic. So send your thoughts on that, on our upcoming Ben Riley episode. Yeah. Uh, any questions for Dave? Ask Ray yeah. what his favorite Batman stories are. Email us, capesy yeah. and lunatics at gmail.com. Anything involving Jason Todd getting smashed in with a crowbar. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. no. It, uh, me and Lilith just did those Bat- uh, those Else Worlds where Batman's a vampire. And oh, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, Batman's yeah. getting yeah. Batman's getting staked and stuff. And I'm like, this would be Ray's favorite story because oh, yeah. well, awesome. yeah. Ray, Ray, yeah. Batman's getting staked and stuff. And two, they're written by yeah. Doug Mensch. Yeah. The, With that, Kelly um, Jones on art. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. panel. That panel is on my bedroom ceiling. So don't worry. It's, uh, it's... Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, really? <laughs> Whoa! I know. Jeez. Bryce just staring up at it. Just going, yeah. <laughs> Not now, honey. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, I I knew it was going to be his favorite one from that DC vs. Vampires when uh, mm. Vampire Nightwing puts like his whole fist through Batman's chest. I'm like, that's nope. going to be Ray's favorite. Uh, <laughs> panel alright so yeah email us capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38capes and remember you can follow Ultimate Spidercast on Facebook on Twitter uh, find links to all the various social medias for all the shows we do Marvel, DC and the upcoming in 2023 Salty and Petty with me and Lilith just talking about whatever the hell we want uh more than Salty. comics, so. I love the name. Salty and Petty. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lilith is the salty one, you're yeah. the petty one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. That sounds awesome. Oh, just wait. I believe the first episode is uh, going to be all live because last week of December, she's coming up here, so. Oh, all awesome. right. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, so the first right. episode, she might be sitting right here beside me, so. Love it. Yeah, live comments? Are, we, are you getting live comments in? Oh, yeah. We're going to go live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ray. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Love it. Well, that's great. So, yeah. So, and then uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Everything gets a video. So, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a second of any of it. Uh, the, YouTube, or the YouTube, the Patreon, again, uh, again, help support this show. Remember, Signal of Doom's Dave said you must be, uh, you should be subscribing to the Patreon. Gotta so Got to do it. You gotta you gotta keep Phil afloat with these thousand and two shows. Exactly. <laughs> pay off. It doesn't pay. come cheap. All this hard work. That's right. I'm not a ten dollar uh, prostitute. Yes, <laughs> I'm expensive. Twenty dollar. Twenty dollar. I'm ex- exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but yes, like uh, yes, we get or you get early access to creator interviews, including that monthly Chichester chats with that genius, Mister DG Chichester. I got the good mic out for you guys. And like Dave said, the superhero movie brackets. Uh, that's a again subscribe before we get to the finale and then we'll have something different cooked up in 2023 so subscribe and find out and of course capes and lunatics merch cups t-shirts all of it uh find us at linktree l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash capes and lunatics all right dave where can people find signal of doom and what what hot fresh episode is up now in about five minutes, they can find me asleep, curled up next to Michelle. But um, you can find uh, Signal of Doom uh, on Facebook or on all our all the main podcasting you know things. Uh, we're at Twitter, Signal of Doom. I also do two separate shows, which I always forget to promote: uh, Dread or Dead about Judge Dread and yes. Legion Outpost uh, about Legion of Superheroes. I do those with Adam Computer, my buddy. Um, and yeah, we we pump those out on a monthly basis. But Signal of Doom's out every week. Uh, we just put a new show up. We just recently had James Mateus on, and we had Elliot S. Magan on. Two really, really fun interviews. Um, and we should mention, if anyone is looking to support James Mateus, his recent Kickstarter uh, is is out. And seriously, go to his Facebook. It's got all the links to the stuff, and he discussed a lot on Signal of Doom. We had a really good chat. So yeah, check us out, Signal of Doom. 
Yeah. Being rich, blazing. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go support JMD <laughs> Mateus, but I think I saw he might have hit his goals already, which no surprise, but yeah. But yeah, I, I guess he still wants yeah. more money. Oh yeah, I, 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 I mean, he's I mean, gonna, he's not going to turn away cash. Reward the man's efforts. He's putting out four yeah. Kickstarter books at once. Yeah. So yeah. 100%, yeah, and how how many good stories has he given you peons over the oh, years? Yes, thousands, plenty, thousands. Plenty. I asked him as a, as a teaser for my interview with him. My first question is: Have you had an alien encounter? <laughs> as he has, oh, that's how I kickstarted the interview, and he was like, "Whoa, we're, we're straight there, Dave." I'm like, "Yeah, we're there." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I just want to start sending out T-shirts to all these creators. Be like, I survived Signal of Doom. Yeah, 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 do yeah that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ray, uh, the man who does quite a few podcasts of his own uh, and guest stars on every other podcast on Earth. Uh, yes, tell the people about all, all your podcasts, Ray. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, best way to catch me on Ray at Ray Ray Pod at R E Y R E Y Pod on Twitter. Uh, you could even catch me on Facebook like that as well. Just love chatting about everything. All the links to the shows there. Uh, recorded uh, last night the latest episode for Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. Uh, so we look at a classic Mensch issue, issue 22, the Dream Demon. Sounds like Dave. Yeah. Uh, oh! And, then, <laughs> yeah, and uh, then we also uh, just recently released on To Know Who Is To Fear Her, the Spider Woman podcast with Saren. Always so much fun chatting with her. Uh, we looked at some Marv Wolfman uh, Marvel two in ones, um, yeah. the thing with Spider Woman uh, over issues thirty one to thirty three. Uh, so that was a lot of fun too. Uh, and um, also on Last Sons of Krypton, I will be there with Dave and Connor yeah. uh, for a Halloween. Uh, episode which will come a week early because that's just the way that we're scheduled uh but we'll be looking at superman and aliens by dan oh that's right jurgens that will be very cool and then later in the month because i think um uh, we're around the corner from when the latest predator issue comes out from marvel uh join me on predator and pray with russell and justin and we'll look at um we'll look at predator 2 the movie oh uh, yeah yeah. right (laughs) <laughs> as well as well as I think it's issue oh my gosh issue three three I think of, it is three uh, predator yeah. it is three yep. yeah um, and a couple a few chapters from Eyes of the Demon which is the latest Predator anthology novel so yeah at Ray Ray Pod just check it all out and uh, yeah I'll I'll drop you a line back question Ray with Spider Woman dying you're gonna have like a moment of silence on your Spider Woman show. You know, bl- bl- like a candle. Pour, pour one black, out for black her or something, band. you know. I'll, I'll be pouring. Yeah, I'll be pouring. Um, and Black Armband for sure. You should get we'll Dan Slot on and yeah. just go full on, like, interrogation style of why he did it. Like, you know, <laughs> just yeah, just see how long he can last before he hangs up on you, you know. Oh, look, the, the guy's already received death threats from other things. Really? Like, yeah, on um, Superior yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, he oh, received death yeah. threats there. So That's crazy. The poor fella's I, been mind you, I Mind you, I've, I've, in all fairness, I've mm. had death threats in my job. I have. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, and you know what? Do I do I look worried? No, no. I'm not worried. About no. It's like it's seriously. If they want to take the time out of their schedule to try and kill me, good luck. Come. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but oh. my address. Yeah. <laughs> but since Ray was mentioning Halloween episodes, yes. Uh, so here, kids, next week, yeah, you'll hear uh, the three of us and Lilith Hellfire for our episode 200 Halloween episode. Uh, cover mm-hmm. Craven's Last yes. Hunt. Yes. So, yes. Oh, that was the one we did. Yeah. 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 That, oh, that's cool. already in yeah. the bag. That's our. Bolt, yeah. That's our big. That ep- that's our big yeah, episode two hundred. Yeah. Very good. Oh, cool. And then I know I know Ray is extremely interested. Uh, for our uh, Batman show, uh, we are the night oh. the Batman podcast that drops on the podcast <laughs> October thirty first. <laughs> Myself, Lilith, and Justin oh. the Owl Osgood are yeah, going to be covering Arkham saying. Asylum. Yeah. Oh, oh no! I thought, okay, story, Grant Morrison. Isn't yeah, it, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, have you guys already covered it? Was it the Long Halloween or something? Have, isn't that? Mm, yeah, we have done that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Done that. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Have you read that, right? No, I've heard it's good. It's good. It's like it's right. in Batman's you first do year. Yourself a favor and check that out. Oh yeah, you, said you might you might actually learn a few lessons, pal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale. I'll tell you, yeah. I'll tell you what uh, I found really strong. Um, was I haven't read all of it, but Court of Owls. I was. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. good. Yeah, and the Idiot Root. 
<laughs> the idiot route. Oh, um, God, yeah. The idiot route, because it was one of the issues that I, I reviewed with Phil. So my, right. my reading of Batman is very limited. Batman so gets high. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But I heard that's good. And, oh. and Lillard said... Didn't Lillard say Batman Incorporated or something? Is yeah, oh, movie? yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Grant Morrison, too. A lot too. of the Grant yeah. Morrison stuff is very yeah. good, you know, so... Um, oh, I'll have to make you a reading list, Ray, of like all the times like Dick Grayson has taken over as Batman. Well, what yeah. about Batman the Cult is a good story? Oh, story. yeah. Is that, that by Batman. Starlin, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Starlin. Yeah, we, th- we did that. I yeah. that one, Ray. Batman a- the 80s? Cult. It's like a f- that- issue, four issue mini in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, yeah cool. It's very strong. Very strong. Okay. It, and it's it, you don't need to know anything more than the basics of Batman. Okay. You know what I mean? The Batman gets messed up. Batman get, gets messed up, so you might like it, right? He gets oh, messed good. up Excellent. Oh, yeah. I've got to sign me, sign me up. Oh, I prefer the Batman um, blue and grey, please. Yeah. That, that yeah. one. That one. That's my favourite, too. Yeah. With favorite. the gold emblem in the middle? With the gold emblem and the gold belt. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's the best Batman of all time, right? Thanks. So I agree. Ray, that's the wrong page of Batman. Ray, is that your favourite issue of Batman when uh, Bane breaks Batman's back? Yeah, Ray's like. I've, yeah. I've read that like twenty five times. That's on the right, bedroom. Right, right. That's on the bedroom right. ceiling. Ray's in the background, going, "Yay, Bane!" <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You should. You Isn't should. There a, a, an animated. Say, Thank you. Wasn't there an animated and the movie? I just on repeat. That that scene is <laughs> on repeat over and over. Again, and again, and again. <sighs> oh, I love it. Well, All right, you know. let's get out of here. Uh, Ray's gonna replaster that bedroom ceiling. All right. <laughs> All right, kids. Yes, thank you for joining us again. Yes, you'll in one week you'll hear these gentlemen again with along with me and Lil talking Craven's last hunt, and then they'll be back in a month. I think I think it'll be uh, stories that Dave will enjoy much more. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. But until then, swing on back.